What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. Let's talk about something uh, that's kind of like an elephant in the room. I haven't, I don't think I've talked about Terra Luna Classic in a little bit. It's probably been a few days to where I've officially talked about Terra Luna Classic by itself, but it's definitely an uh oh situation. You know, I'm not saying that everything's lost or everything's, you know, done or that I'm selling all of my position. No, that's not the case. I believe Terra Luna Classic has a lot left in it, a lot left in the tank, um, growing way past where it was at a $4 billion market cap. I think it could grow so much further. Um, but currently, we're seeing an added zero. We added a whole nother zero to Terra Luna Classic. That's the position that probably had one of, you know, the strongest staking communities, the strongest community uh, for a long period of time, holding at certain levels, having nobody really give up on it. But then you have a lot of maybe skepticism in certain areas and, you know, mixed, mixed belief um, within, you know, people that are kind of leading um, this position or this project. So I wanted to give you guys an update on where Terra Luna Classic is, talk about the add a zero, um, what I'm doing in this in this time period. If I feel like it's a time for, you know, purchasing or, you know, where the market cap stands and, you know, just everything I think about it. But guys, if you could make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter at Perry8K, you can follow me over there. Don't forget about some of the links that are in the description. And, um, you know, that's for uh, Weeble, for Crypto.com, for, um, you know, Coinbase, for my Patreon, if you guys want to sign up for that. But anyways, Terra Luna Classic is kind of a hot topic right now because currently we're seeing this at 0.0000828. It added a zero so from going from the level where it was comfortable at you know 112 or sorry 0 0.000330s and 12 and where it was hovering around there for a while really showing strength around that level as well as the 11 level and then now you're seeing this kind of drop down to a lower point where it's down by 12 percent today it's definitely looking really bad not only for this position but actually for the crypto market it's it's down significantly um which doesn't feel great um but anyways like i said terra luna classic is at an added zero four zeros eight two uh seven nine down uh 12.6 percent you can see this chart it just doesn't look healthy if we're looking at the last seven days you can see more of the same it really doesn't look healthy probably more consolidation up at this this one level and then even a month ago you saw this consolidation at the 12 or 13 level like i said before dropping down to this you know 0 0.0001 level and now being at four zeros and an eight and hovering around there um, we held a lot of strength and the reason why this was so strong was because of the amount that was actually staked and the amount that is, you know, still staked, you know, you had about, um, you know, almost a trillion that was staked, um, and people believing in this people gaining an extra APY wanting to see what this ends up being. Um, and also people burning off, uh, Terra Luna classic, you see the amount of success that this can have, right? In the last month, oh, this this actually doesn't update, which I like now. This actually doesn't update based on what you select. So this is good to see. I didn't notice that if you didn't see that in my uh, coin market cap video. That's interesting. Seeing an update by the day, by the last seven days, by the last month, uh, the last year, and see that it's down 100% in the last year, 33% um, in the last month, and uh, so on and so forth. That's great to know. But um, what we're looking at now is the overall circulating supply, seeing it at 5.8 um, uh, trillion, almost 5.9 trillion total supply of 6.8 trillion. We've burned off um, about 55 billion coins um, for it, which is great. That's phenomenal. It's the comparison between that and like Shiba Inu. It's like night and day because Terra Luna Classic has been able to burn off a lot via um, you know, Binance's burns via the 0.2% burn tax or standard burns that we have out here, whether it's by me burning off my staking rewards, another person just burning because they want to burn or a business burning because they want to burn or even lunatics token that has burned uh, five point or uh, sorry, 2.5 uh, billion coins and others that are looking to burn a lot more. Um, 
But it's definitely interesting to me because people brought it up to me and they were like, look, is this a time to purchase? And honestly, I can't make that decision for you. I can't say that 0.00008266 is a great uh, level for you. Uh, granted, it is a lot greater um, and it is a lot better than what we saw before at a drop zero. So honestly, it is at a lower price, which means that it would be better than it was before. But I'm not going to tell you this is the absolute best level. Um, because it doesn't show that this is the absolute best level and you can't 100% predict exactly where the best level is, especially in a market like we are seeing today. So I can't really say if it is the best level for you, but I think you should take all of this information, go on CoinMarketCap, go on a lot of the other places and try and break down where you feel the best level is. But honestly, an added zero is a really, really good level um, compared to where it was at the high point of where we were in this low area here. So um, again, I'm not gonna say that this is the best buying point. I'm not gonna say that you need to buy, but this will be a good place to average down for a lot of people that bought in maybe at the 0 0.0003 level or two level. Um, I feel like you're getting a, a decent sale on this position. And I feel as though it's going to grow a lot further. That's my opinion. I'm still holding on to mine. As you can see from my uh, wallet, I have uh, $3,800 worth that is delegated. I also have $10 here. And then I have about uh, $400 over here or $148 uh, worth of Lunic that is in my wallet. So either way, I have basically everything that is uh, staked here. They must have updated this because this looks a lot different than how it looked before. Um, but yeah, I have um, 50 something, um, like 50, oh no, 40, 46.5 million that is staked over on Terra Station and I'm still holding it, right? I made money from it. I always find a way to take my profit no matter what, but I still hold on to it because I know what this can be. Just because the overall crypto market is down by a hell of a lot, just because you're seeing the market down by 4%, 5%, seeing Bitcoin and Ethereum down so much, seeing um, XRP that's down by six or almost 8%, 8% um, for Polygon. And then you scroll down and you see some more uh, notable drops. Let me go ahead and you know just look at this as a whole. You look at some notable drops, you're seeing Pepe that's down quite a bit. You're seeing Terra Luna Classic that's down quite a bit, down below a $500 million market cap. That's definitely a low price, a very, very low price. And it kind of gets people concerned. But honestly, I'm not concerned. Um, it's a position that I know is very, very strong. And... I want to see succeed and a lot of other people want to see succeed, but it doesn't mean that it absolutely will. So make sure you manage your risk the right way. If you put all of your uh, wealth into this, if you put your put uh, second mortgage money on this, I feel like you need to find a way out of it. I don't want you guys to take on that much risk. You should take on as little risk as possible um, in order to do this because um, you never know what's going to happen here. Honestly, I think there's going to be a lot more success, but you may have to wait through this storm before we get to the sunshine and rainbows right so anyways guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell for more of these videos uh thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video